Greetings, thank you for joining me today. Matt Customer Service here for another rant. And now I said, didn't I, that I was going to get back to you and give you my thoughts on the budget. So here they are. Uh, I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, in short, I think it's been a good budget. It's uh, one of the best I've seen so far, and I've been around a while, as you can tell by the grey hairs on my head. Now, why do I think it's a good budget? Well, they've actually looked ahead for more than a couple of years. Previous chances on both sides of the house have delivered budgets which have lacked uh, lacked a lot of depth. Now, yes, yeah, sure, there have been some good and bad points, um, but for the most part, we've seen budgets which haven't really planned ahead more than a couple of years, and I think that's flawed thinking. So the latest budget, which made a point, uh, she made a point of stating, well, obviously what she plans ahead for the next couple of years and how she sees it panning out. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. We need a plan because certain things need to be here for the long term. Uh, we need a national health service. We need, a, you know, uh, money to pay for armed forces. We need roads that aren't pitted with potholes you could sink a bus in. We need a good infrastructure. We need energy uh, security. We need food security. You know, like all these, everything we need, we need to invest in. Um, now, the government has to raise money to pay for all this. And the previous government didn't, didn't bother. They just, you know, raised taxes, sure. But it was all, it was all thr thrown up the wall. It really was. Um, yeah. A lot of money was given to people who didn't do anything for it. A lot of money, what, just think about what happened with COVID and that um, protective gear debacle. You know, things about things like that. That's the end of the wedge, frankly. You know, a lot of contracts given to mates of a mates, mates, you know. And honestly, it's, it's money that goes to waste because we, the people, can't guarantee that we're getting the best deal. That's what, that's what we felt with our last government. That's why they were kicked out, wasn't it? Uh, it wasn't just because we needed a change. We needed a change because we needed a government that was going to work for us and try and change things for the better. So I, I like the look of it. Um, I forget how many million they plan to invest in the NHS. I mean, that's a number that I'm not even going to bother focusing on. It will need to change, but we'll need to see changes there. We'll need to see changes there. We'll need to see more, more investment in the armed forces to protect us especially given the current circumstances um yeah and that not only from the likes of russia and other countries who might want to invade but of course um well we don't want to get caught in a crossfire let's put it like that yeah so it, it's a good budget um yes it's going to cost us more but hasn't every budget every budget has cost certainly me more indirectly or directly and it's sad to see it when we see it. There have been a few things which have been kept standard, but you can guarantee that the likes of um, Shell, Esso, the, you know, the petrol station, um, fuel sellers, you know, they're going to make masses of profit and it doesn't matter whether tax gets raised, lowered or stays the same. Uh, they're still going to hike the prices, you know, because of reasons. And the same can be said of supermarkets. We're going to see supermarkets continue to blame the cost of living crisis that they've manufactured and raise the prices whilst producers of you know the food we love um we're going to continue to raise prices while applying shrinkflation i.e giving us a smaller product for higher prices again not because they necessarily need to but because they want to take more back to their investors you know it's it's all about dividends for them so uh, yeah anyway so I hope to see more more in the coming months, um, you know, from the, the latest government. I, I would sooner they hadn't promised not to raise taxes, honestly, because that was a stupid thing to promise. They should have promised that we are going to try and invest more in the NHS, which is what they're promising to do. And it's going to cost some money. But exactly how much isn't clear until, of course, they had the books in their hands. I think that would have been a, a clearer, more straightforward way of doing it. Now, would that have appealed to a lot of people? No, because a lot of people think in very simple terms. If you say, oh, we're going to raise taxes, they worry that they're going to lose all their money. Uh, you know, they worry that um, any benefit from working will be depleted altogether. And OK, I can see how that, that thinking might be valid. But the country needs investment. It really does. And I'm on minimum wage, but I pay a whack of tax. 
I pay out fair whack of tax as does as do so many of my uh, friends and colleagues we pay an awful lot of tax and we want to see something for it we don't want to think that if we're struck down with some illness you know or an injury um, we don't want to think that we'll have to go sit in accident emergency and wait for treatment wait 10 15 hours before we see a doctor that's not right we don't want to struggle to get an appointment with our local GP if we need one we don't want to struggle with that we don't want to struggle at all we want to make sure that our backs are covered so if the worst happens ill health will strike you know that we are covered and a national health service needs to be paid for to make sure we all have that that facility and i think that's a good thing because if everybody has access to good health care everybody has the ability then to stay in work longer and if you stay in work longer and stay alive longer you will contribute more to the economy this is common sense isn't it now, oh, that's my two penneth anyway. Thank you for listening to me today. Um, yes, and whatever you have a cracking, cracking day. And uh, yeah, if you're in the States, oh, please, 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 think sensibly. Don't vote a criminal in again. Come on, you're better than this. Bye for now.